Do you want to go to Legoland today? What do you think? Yes! <laughs> Should we go to Legoland? Yes, sure. Mom, thank you! Mom, I yes, told Pa I was definitely going this, this year. Did you have any idea? Mom, that's why you... Yeah, I had to find it yesterday. Are you guys he excited? Like, yeah, but, but it was the funniest thing. He's like... Yeah. <laughs> we are headed to Legoland. Surprise! Boom. Are y'all ready for an adventure? Let's go! We've been planning this trip since we booked it during Black Friday. We've kept the secret from the kids for that long. Tonight we're staying in Kissimmee and then we have three days at the parks and three nights at the Legoland Hotel. We're bummed out that we don't get to go to the Florida Welcome Center. It's only open till five, but if you're passing through, you have to stop and get some orange juice or grapefruit juice. Florida's natural. Flor it is really just Spoiler Florida. Spoiler alert. Stop, how are you spoiling that? <laughs> It is just Florida's natural. Yeah, it ruined it for me. But also, it's still really good. Today is Saturday. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's see your shirt. That's Skyla's life. Public subs. So there's Publix. There's Legoland. Legoland. Ooh, there's the sign. Pulling in. There's Lego Movie World. Gosh, I'm so excited. Oh gosh, I think that's the dragon. That's the dragon. Here's Peppa Pig World. 9:25, and there's some people ready to come in. We're in the we're on the left lane where the hotel guests come in. We're official. We're not leaving until Tuesday till they kick us out. One of the things we really like are these covered parking areas so your car doesn't overheat and it's very close to the hotel as you can see up ahead of us. This video is going to focus on the hotel so we will check in after we have a full park day. I'm sure my hair will look very different and we'll show you all of the awesome things to see and do at the hotel. We'll give you a room tour. We'll see you in a little bit. I told you we would look very different after our day at the park. We are soaked because we rode the Battle of Bricksburg. Here it is though. We can't wait to check in. This dragon's about to bust through. Bob is here to welcome you. Ooh, we got a lot of stuff. When you first walk in the hotel, the dragon greets you. Check in is to the right. And then the Pirate Island Hotel is its own hotel, but it is inside the same building. Slip on a banana peel. One of the coolest things about the hotel is this wall at reception of all of the Lego people. I was just told there are over 8,000. I did the pre check in, so we got a QR code sent to our phone that they just scanned right here, and then we just have to put our credit card in and we'll get our room keys. <gasps> and the Lego friends. We've got, it looks like a dragon today and a space shuttle tomorrow. That's awesome. Yeah. You scan this QR code to reserve the Master Builder classes. And of course, it's made out of Lego. They gave us our resort guide. It gives you all the information about the hotel. Oh man, I'm ready. This is a pretty cramped dance party, but we'll have yeah. several more. Ooh, I like it. I like the moves. You look like him. Normally these say something to you right when you get off the elevator. Ours isn't, but we'll go to another floor to show you. We picked a pirate room this time around, and the first thing you notice is the awesome area for the kids. Hi. Skyla's at the top bunk. Holden's in the bottom bunk. And then Holden, will you pull that out? You guys like to just pull that out to hang out in there, don't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then they have some things to play with over here. They have their own TV. We'll be watching TV all night. Love the little Lego buddy. What are we going to name him? Um, Whiskers. Okay, that's Whiskers. We do bring a nightlight for the kids because this side of the room can get a little bit dark and they are separated from you. So they like to have that little bit of light. And while they're hanging out, they do have their own little light in each bed. We have our treasure hunt box over here. We'll show you what we get in there later. 
You have your safe over here, lots of places to put things, extra blankets, and that's on both sides over here. Normally they have Legos for you to play with and we don't have any in that cubby, so I'm gonna ask them about that. But when we walk into the room, this is the adult side of the room. It's very fun. They do also give you an iron and an ironing board. Every room has a Keurig and they refill these every day and you get two waters. We do have a little refrigerator in here. There are no USB ports, but we did plug things in over here. Scott's suitcase did not come with the room, but the barrel did. We've got a little butterfly buddy up here. And then our view is actually out into the hotel entrance, which last time we were on the pool side. We're trying to dry our shoes out over here from the Battle of Bricksburg earlier. Got a chair over here some artwork, and then a full-size mirror to check yourself out. And then we'll head into the restroom, which comes with a blow dryer, some more fun Lego, of course. Really fun mirror in here. And these are always great. The Lego shampoo, conditioner, body lotion, and bath gel. <laughs> and the artwork, we've got a spider buddy up here. The shower curtain is very fun in here. They're battling a shark, it looks like. But yeah, normal, nice, clean shower. That's very kid friendly. They even have a stool for the sink. Another really fun thing is that when you turn on the TV, this is the first thing you see. So all of our Lego buddies are making mischief around the hotel. Well, look who's back. <laughs> Come on, pirates. It's time to take back my ship. And so that's what ours should be saying on floor two. This is floor three. The deluxe pirate rooms are very fun. I like the doors on these ones. These must be the new Ninjago rooms. That's so exciting. We have all the Ninjago buddies. Anyone see my fair damsel in distress? Sounds. I'm beginning to get a little tired. Just a quick nap. <laughs> He's taking a nap over here. What the heck? This is the kingdom floor, floor four. This is the only one we haven't stayed in yet, so maybe next time, you never know. These are the deluxe rooms that have the crests on the doors. Go catch yourself, and save Miss Pippin. Floor five is the adventure floor. I loved these rooms. I would highly recommend them. Hi. Hi. This is the difference between our children. Right there. Place it right on top. And you can click that right into place. This build is super cool. Let's see, it's so fun. You can close the tail and the wings how you like. If you have any questions, I'm just going to hang out for a few minutes after class. Cheers. They're going to fight. Scott just returned with our dinner from the Crazy Greek. So we got a, a gyro. So lettuce, tomato, shaved meat on a pita, and then one of our favorite things are the grape leaves. And then the kids just got... Some fried and chicken. Chicken tenders, places less than two miles away, door to door. And it's so good. So good. Highly yeah. recommend. Ooh, they have moussaka. Spanakabada. All right, it's Holden's turn to come down the slide. We just had to clear out of the pool because of the weather, but now I can show it to you because there's not a ton of people. And then here's the water slide up here. We had to leave the pool a little bit earlier than expected, so we came up, everyone showered, and the kids are ready for the pajama party in their matching Lego jammies. And now we're gonna see what's in this guy. What is the first digit of your room number? Isn't two? it two? How many peoples are in the room door? Under the TV in your room, there's a puzzle. When you solve the oh. puzzle, what is the number? Oh, can I do that? I think I know what it is. Oh, is that a five? That's a five. All right, I think we have our code. Ooh, it opened. Okay, what's in it? A juice box. Let's pull the goodies out. Inside, we got a Lego magazine, two minifigs, and a juice box. I think we're supposed to get two juice boxes, so we'll ask about that. Yeah, not okay. the same person. Maybe you can trade your minifigs then tomorrow. I am. Okay. Very cool, it's an adventure, just like Dean Team Adventures. That's really cool. Our monkey has some adventurer friends now. Oh, wait. Here we go. What happens when it rains? That's the reception over there, loads of Lego to with. And then this is Rick, which we will come to for breakfast.
transported to a new area full of pirates, mermaids, treasure, seagulls. Pirate side, definitely quieter, but still very busy. This is where Smuggler's Bar is. You can have a drink and watch your kids play. This is where we put the bad kids in pirate jail. was the dance party. It was amazing. Y'all broke down some moves, for sure. It was a good first day, wasn't it? All right, so shipwreck breakfast in the morning. Are y'all ready? Yes. Okay, so. I'm getting the Lego waffles, no matter what. Ooh, Lego waffles. I remember those, they're so good. Good night. <laughs> we'll see you in the morning. We woke up to the Legoland Times at our doorstep. Scott got me two pins. The first one says that, and the second one, he said he didn't know how I'd be feeling today, but I'm good with this one. Holden wanted to come and play real quick while there's nobody here, and I can actually show you around the castle play area. There are so many Lego everywhere. Huge Lego wall to build on. They must clean that off every night. More places to build. And of course, more Lego on the front side. Got a Lego mermaid, Lego princess up there. This is also a clear view of Skyline. <laughs> He's sleepy today. At least he has his teddy bear. Mm -hmm. Headed into shipwreck. First thing you see are big Lego. Ooh, these ones are lit up too. That's cool. There's the pirate's den. You can also build in here. Scott got me a crown. I'm ready to celebrate. Celebrate this queen. <laughs> Happy birthday. Thank you. Skylar, are you ready for breakfast? I got a long line of things I want. You have a long list of things. We've got a pirate lookout over here. You can see him prepping all the food over here. How breakfast works at Shipwreck, as well as at Bruce, is that you get a big family style skillet. The best part about Shipwreck is they have these skillet add-ons, and so today the skillet of the day is like a vegetarian option. Everything here is very piratey. Except for me. <laughs> Skyla got the cutest chocolate milk. And you can get anything you want to drink. So I got a decaf coffee, we have orange juice. All sorts of juices, yeah. uh, soda. Holden's been playing. Soda. This is the carnita skillet. Pork sauce, pickled onions, cream. The Florentine has spinach and mushroom, potatoes, bechamel sauce. And then we get the half size skillet. It comes with potatoes, eggs, bacon, to, um, biscuits and gravy, and then today is pancakes. Tomorrow will probably be the Lego waffles. Yeah. And it's all you can eat. You also get some fresh fruit. This root is super fresh. Happy birthday to you. Party <laughs> Drill. Look at this. 
the whole time also that they were singing Happy Birthday, Skyla was just buttering her pancake the whole time. You can leave your gratuity in cash or charge it to your room, and it's as easy as that. Over here at Smuggler's Bar, you can get breakfast to go, and it's the same breakfast that you would get over at Bricks. And they also have fruit just sitting out, and yogurt, and they'll give you anything you want. And here's an uncrowded look of the pirate side play area and stage. We've always got movies playing. <laughs> I'm not a master, but... I think you are a Lego master. This is how Skyla spent the morning. Watching the Lloyd. Hey, you, come here. Please let me out of here. <gasps> this is one of the best parts of staying at Legoland and the fact that the park doesn't open until 10 is you eat breakfast and then you come back. It's actually a relaxing vacation sometimes, isn't it? Yeah. We're back from an awesome Lego Ninjago's day and a day at the water park. It's now almost six, so where do we have to head? Our Master Builder class, Hustle! Hustle, Master Builder class at six o'clock. We're back for round two. I'm making a space shuttle. Space shuttle time. It looks pretty easy. I want to go three to one blast, I can just throw it, but it will break. Yeah, you can't, you can't throw it. Shuttle one. blast off. Oh, don't do it, don't. Did it break? No! Okay. Hello! 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 For dinner we got Jay Burns Pizza. It's about a half mile down the road. Woo! That looks good! Delicious! We're gonna eat over by the pool. Last time we were here we got DiMaggio's. I remember it being delicious. This pizza is good. It's party cut but it's very very thin crust. And it could have just been cooked longer. It wasn't as crispy as we like. Scott brought me some celebratory Prosecco for my B-Day. I'm not really gonna open it. I'm gonna let Scott do it because I would shoot myself in the eyeball. So I'm gonna hand this over. Yeah, I think it's just some screws. Oh, that was anticlimactic. Boop, pop. <laughs> the pool is open until 9 p.m. And basically as soon as we leave the park, which closes at six on weekends, that's all the kids wanna do. They just wanna come swim. And one of the things we love about Legoland is that it forces you to relax. Because the park closes so much earlier than Disney parks or Universal parks, you just take time to hang out. And that's a really, really nice part about staying here. Yeah, that's how it's done. Three, two, watch, go. What's the best part? Um, the water slide. You want to do the water slide? Yeah, sure. And go! Oh my god! That's not very fast, which, as you can see, the colors are changing. Because the colors change. Oh, here we go. Close your eyes. Ah! We did it! Woo! Wow. And it only took like a half minute to do that, so. Yeah, that was great. I just checked my watch and we walked over 18,000 steps today. Cheers to us. From the boardwalk, you can head over to where the mini golf is and the fire pit. The mini golf is $8 if you're three and over or free for two and under. The mini golf is actually one of the less themed things here, so we have not done it yet. But there are a few Lego animals out there. That's a hot fire right there, y'all. I feel like I'm gonna burn just now. <laughs> Just standing right here. The s'mores kits are $10 here, but we just bring our own stuff. How is it, Skyla James? It's really good. It's like heaven. Do s'mores taste better at Legoland? A little bit better? Just a teeny bit? They taste fully better. Fully better. 
110%. Oh, that much more is what you meant to say. Today we got the grilled spiced blue Hawaiian, which has rum, blue curacao, pineapple juice, soda, and grilled pineapple. It is delightful. today we did have it cleaned but we did not have the Lego in our room so if you do not get it to your room make sure that you ask last year we got kits sometimes they just handed us mini figs today though it's better if you opt to not get your room clean then you do need to go to the front desk to grab your Lego for the day five events that will rock your socks we just did the Lego Ninjago days there's Aw summer heroes weekend which is September 3rd through the 5th brick or treat and then holidays at Legoland. Goldie, Goldie. What? Oh. Are you ready for breakfast? I love Legoland. You love Legoland? Me too, bud. Does that mean you're ready? Okay. Sometimes you just gotta bring your weapons to breakfast. No line for breakfast at breaks at 7.30ish. Seating area all to ourselves for now. So fun, all the Lego chef took it up for us. It looks like Bricks now has omelet add-ons. We again got the half size skillet and they said they're alternating between French toast sticks and pancakes. There's a shortage on waffle mix, apparently. So no Lego waffle today, but these French toast sticks look so good. I love that they've got these little guys. Baby Baskies. Look at those fine motor skills in action. Good. It ain't that there's rodeo. Florentine. And this big old thing is the vegetarian or vegetable one. Holden just grabs some Lego brick to build while we finish eating. While no one's in here, we just wanted to show you how fun even the bathroom theming is. And they have little kids playing. Great, The girl is here. We decided to come down to the pool before the park this morning. Skyla has all the Lego brick to herself. Holden pretty much has the pool to himself. Okay, ghost. You get up and I'll pick you up. Skyla made herself a throne. Let's see. And then my feet can touch the water. Perfect. Lego pieces in here, like this one right here, and I'm gonna make um, a hedgehog maraca. Today's dinner is brought to you by Tijuana Flats. That's a chimichanga. And then, what are these flautas? The flautas. Scott sitting directly in the sun. Yeah, yeah, this is bad what timing. Heck? What the heck? Kids are in the pool. <laughs> Water's warmer than I thought. That was good.
our pirate friends are welcoming us to the pirate pool. Are you painting? They're putting you to work. More Lego friends. Oh, she's got the money. The pool is open with more limited availability than the main pool. And there's no slide on this side either. Loads of seating available. Of course, this is a Monday, our last night here, but I think it would be like this most of the week compared to the other pool. building over here. Aunt Jessie was kind enough to give them some birthday money so Skyla got a Harry Potter. It is the Hogwarts magical trunk. Holden got it's a Lego Ninjago boulder blaster. Your favorite one's name is Cole. Cole and so this is his I don't know transportation. It's a boulder blaster. It's a plane. And I think everyone in my class knows that I got a that I would have gotten a Harry Potter set. It's Tuesday morning. I'm not leaving, I'm sneaking into the hotel. They set up this area and they put a wall between it. This is what they made at the Master Builder sessions. This is what they've gotten to the room. One thing I highly recommend bringing with you on a trip to Legoland are Ziploc bags for all of the Lego that you'll get. So that way when you're going home, it makes packing them up a lot easier. We could not get the internet to work well. You could connect to Wi-Fi, but then just your pages wouldn't load. This is how Dad's works. Holden's yawning. I think you're all sleepy. We all feel this way a little bit after an amazing trip. Oh, you're yawning now. It was hard to choose where to come back to because I feel like Rick's up their game. Shipwreck was calling our name. We did our skillet without eggs. You can customize them however you want. This was the big draw for coming back here, and Scott asked for a double on his. And there's all sorts of vegan, gluten-free, every allergy options. Yeah. Just gotta ask for them. They have regular coffee in the lobby as well, but they don't do decaf, so they were nice enough to make me a decaf to go because you can get it at the restaurant. So that was really nice. The service here has been incredible. Eat have a great day. We wanted to see what the pirate elevator was like. I like how they even have the yeah. Lego they piece numbers. I think the dance party on our side is a little bit more fun. This is a yeah. catchy song. I made a weapon so powerful it needs a cage. What does it do? It turns people into animals. This is what I was thinking at Peppa Pig Land. There is some serious master building going on over there. You're king of the castle. We want to do This is how Lego people do. I don't want to be it. We're poolside, so we just grabbed some Skyline brisket grilled cheese, right? Yep. Delicious. That looks, looks really delicious. good. Yeah. yeah, and it came with fries or sweet potato fries. For our meals, for the three days of public subs, for the three takeout dinners, and then for the kids meal and the lunch sandwich we got at Skyline was $130 total. We know you could easily spend that on just one dinner at Shipwreck for a family of four. We've heard that the dinners at Bricks, Shipwreck, and Skyline are all really good. Bricks has that buffet style dinner, Shipwreck has the family style, and then Skyline has the menu. Skyline would definitely be the loudest dining experience just with all of the kids running around in that castle area. But we've heard that they're all really good. It just depends what you want to do with your family. Ooh, we're making a platypus. I thought it was an alligator. <laughs> a brown alligator. You know what? It looked dark green. Um, in the picture. No. And our last build. Oh, but it's so cute. You got that, baby girl? 
<laughs> the kids are playing behind us right now. We're about to head out. So we're gonna end the video here before they get really sad. We booked this trip during Black Friday. So for a family of four to get a standard room at the hotel, we got the pirate themed room. Three days at the park, three nights at the hotel was $1,200 after tax. Just to give you an idea, obviously the prices fluctuate throughout the year and depending when you book, but they do run all different kinds of deals. Yeah, and that came with the water park, with Peppa Pig. There are standard rooms and deluxe rooms for the different themes. And so if you go on the website, you can check out what those look like. But we found the standard room. The kids just love the theming there, so mm -hmm. we've never really gone beyond that to get the more expensive themed rooms. You get the Lego to your room every day. You get an amazing free breakfast. There's programming every evening. You can sign up for the creative workshop. The kids like being here just as much as they do, you know, at the park. And the pool with the water slide and yeah. just everything. There's just so much to do. Dance parties in the elevator. I mean, come on now. For Chris and the kids, I kind of compare it to what it must be like <laughs> to be on a cruise because they never leave all of the fun stuff. I've only really gone out to get uh, food for us just because it's a little bit cheaper to go down the street, but they never leave. So they've never seen the car in four days. That's definitely part of the magic is that you're staying at this amazing hotel. You're you're immersed in Lego the entire time. The Peppa Pig Park and the Legoland Park are just right at your doorstep. We're gonna have separate videos about our experiences at the main park, at the water park, and at Peppa Pig theme park. Mm -hmm. So be sure to check those out. Thanks for coming along with us. Until next time, because I think we'll be back. I think they're gonna yeah, convince they're gonna us force that we us need to come, to come back. back. Yeah. But we'll see you soon. Be sure to like and subscribe. And as always, keep adventuring!